You know, Steve Jones over the years has become the legend of Lake St. Clair when it comes to muskie fishing. About 25 years ago, he approached me at a sports show and, and introduced himself and showed me a bunch of photos and would I like to come muskie fishing with him. And I said, sometime I will, but we're already booked for the year. And I said, we got a lot of stuff booked for next year. I said, people are after us an awful lot um, because we have such a large audience. And, and he said, I know, that's why I'm, I'm talking to you. Well, I said, let's keep talking. Well, 25 years later, <laughs> went to St. Clair to film with him and wound up catching pneumonia and I couldn't go out. So that's why we filmed with Steve and his first mate. I wanted to get the show in for him and get him the opportunity to show his methods and why he was doing it. Most people don't fish that close and don't expect the muskie to come up that close and hit. Most of their bites, if you notice, were close by the boat. And they were running four or five miles an hour, which is very fast at that time of the year. I've done a bunch of crankbait fishing, Spence Petros and I, Spence is the best muskie fisherman I know. We generally do our trolling with big crankbaits at fast speeds in fall. Once the wa water temperature gets down into right around 50 degrees is when we were trolling uh, big baits. Other than that, we were generally casting. Casting topwaters, casting bucktails, and, and all kinds of different things. I'm trying to have fun with one another and get to a spot first. I remember one time up at Lake of the Woods, we come around the corner of this reef, and that's where we were gonna start, and there was a little finger sticking out and a little bigger finger sticking out of rock. And around the bigger finger, there was a swirl. I got up and that first cast went right into that swirl. I didn't even get two cranks on the handle and it was on, boom. I got a 46 inch fish before Spence had a chance to cast to it. Well, I got crap about that for the next three days. I was a meat hog. No, I just made the cast exactly and caught the fish, Spence. Put your whining and sniveling, you know? Well, I have had more fun with him. We were up on, on uh, Vermilion Lake one day throwing big topwaters. We were on a rock reef. And this big muskie, I'm talking about 35 to 40 plus pound fish, come underneath that top water and straight up in the air. He hit it with his mouth. He must have knocked the bait 10 feet in the air. He came up about three feet or better, or she, out of the water. And I never got a hook into her. And that was by far the biggest fish. I caught some real nice fish, or we did. I caught a real beauty working the top water bait, but under the water. And I seen the fish come in following, so I started figure eighting him and caught it on a top water figure eight. <laughs> and that was the biggest muskie I caught in that particular trip. But the, you never know with muskies, they're fun. They're great, but you gotta be built for it and, and have the endurance because casting those big baits all day long will work you out, period. Hey, if you enjoyed today's show, give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd be so kind. We're trying to give you something new with YouTube. Me sitting here with my mouth going in the middle of uh, segments, trying to fill you in on other information. Hi, thanks so much. Good fishing to you.